Hello everybody! This video will show you how to use search Windows function and or how to quickly find a file in a computer. Dear friends, if you need to recover deleted data, use Utilities by Hetman Software. Follow the link in the description to visit our website, download a utility for free and install it. Then start disk analysis. When the process is over, it will show the files available for recovery, and you will be able to bring them back. Our blog features quick guides to solve all kinds of problems faced by Windows users. Our channel and blog offer solutions for any issues, from installing the operating system to remote administration and connecting mobile devices. Our specialists will be glad to answer your questions in comments to videos and articles. Compared to Windows 7 and 8, Windows 10 has got a much more advanced search tool. Now it has a separate button in the toolbar, while search of tools and filters can help you find a file, folder, application or setting with a number of options. Nevertheless, many people don't use it or use only a small part of its functions because they don't know how it works. Anyone who has ever used the search function in Windows 7 knows that it looks very simple. Though the search function in Windows 10 is certainly much better than in earlier operating systems, but its language versions are limited. So far, Cortana can understand and speak only six languages – English, German, Chinese, Italian, Spanish and French. The easiest way to search for a file, application or setting is by clicking on the search icon. In the toolbar, it looks like a magnifying glass. Or by entering the thing you are looking for right into the opened Start menu. To do it, open the Start menu and begin entering the word you are searching for. Windows will automatically redirect you to the Search tool. By default, the system will look for the most relevant results in the computer among files, applications, settings and so on. However, you can narrow down search options using the Search filter. To do it, after entering a word to search for, select the menu filters in the upper right corner. Narrow down the search by one of the settings. All, videos, documents, music, folders, settings, apps, photos, or even select the location of the object you are looking for. Windows 10 users have often noted that searching via Cortana's text field in a new system is sometimes too slow, and it requires a lot of system memory. It happens because in its search for data, Windows 10 uses a special internal index database. This base contains names of the objects which developers believe are the most important and should be shown in the search window first of all. When the user tries to find a file which is not on this list, Windows will start searching for it only after it checks the internal base of important objects. First of all, users with weaker computers or those using systems with large file storages will feel their work slow down. Nevertheless, you can make searching faster by indexing the directories which are important for the user. To do it, choose the option Select locations in the filter screen. In the window Index these locations, you can see indexed folders. To add a folder you need, click on Modify and choose a directory. For convenience, I select Disk C. The result of searching with the Start menu uh, or using the System Tray icon will look like this. To go to a certain result, just left-click on it. The file folder or set in a window will open. Another type of window search is searching from File Explorer window. In other words, it is using the search field in an opened folder. To search for a file, folder or application, go to the folder where you need to find it. Enter the word which you want to use for searching in the field with a magnifying glass in the right upper corner of the window and press Enter. If the folder where this search is running is quite large or is not indexed, the process will take some time. The search status will be displayed in the address bar of the File Explorer. The search results will be shown as a list. To narrow down file options, go to the tab Search Tools in the File Explorer. It appears when you click in the search field. This way you can change search settings by file type, size, name, tag, last modified date and so on. But in folders which are not indexed, you can search for files by their name only. Content options are not available. 
However, you can change this setting right from this menu. To do it, go to Advanced Options and check the box next to the item File Contents. You can also index a folder from the tab Search Tools in the File Explorer. To do it, go to Advanced Options and select Change Index Locations. As a result, the Indexing Options window, which you already know, will open. There are also third-party applications to search for files in your computer. You can use them if you don't like the integrated tools for some reason. There are both free and fee-paying applications and products that have a wider range of functions than the Windows standard tool, similar functions, or even those that are much simpler. To me, it seems that third-party applications work faster. Among other advantages, some developers offer portable versions, so you can search for files or folders without having to install the application, or by starting it from a removable media, such as a USB drive or an external hard disk. It's easy to use such programs. In the special field, just type the word you will use to search for a file and press Enter. If you want to narrow down search options, make corresponding changes to the program settings. If you can't find a file you need in the computer because it was occasionally or deliberately deleted, you can recover such files or folders with one of the programs for data recovery, depending on the file type and the type of media you are using. Find the link in the description. If you like this video, click the like button below. In our channel, you will also find a lot of other videos and guides to set up your PC and recover your data. Subscribe to our channel to always have useful information at hand. Thank you for watching and good luck!